I am Dr. Shivraj. I am a consultant pulmonologist uh, working in Columbia Asia Hospital, Whitefield. The causes, as I told, like my this one. So normally, the commonest cause is the cancer. Any patient who is having the any cancer anywhere in the body, there is the blood is getting hypercoagulated. The more chances to blood get clot. Usually, this clot will usually form in the lower limbs, the legs. This clot will gradually move to the lungs. Lungs is the commonest. In the lungs, they will get blocked there. So this is one of the commonest cause. The second commonest cause is any. traumas for example if the person is having any fracture of the any major bones so there is a chances of clot can form and that clot also can move to the lungs third is usually there is a prolonged surgery if the person is undergoing the surgery for many hours there is a chances like the clot can form fourth is usually the if the person is having uh, immediately if the post op surgery if you make him to bedridden for many days there is a chances like the clot formation some other people who are having like in birth or like in hereditary there is called homocysteine level if there is an increase in the homocysteine level or some other hypercoagulable status that also can cause the pulmonary embolism